Hello, and welcome to part 3 of this workshop on preparing to sit the Lantite numeracy test. You can pause, rewind and fast forward this video at any time. Also, on some slides, a next button will appear in the bottom right corner, and or a back button in the bottom left corner. The video will be automatically paused to allow you time to read the question and work out your answer, or to read the solution. You need to do your working out and your answers on paper for this workshop, not on the screen. Click this next button when it appears when you are ready to move forward. This part 3 of the workshop consists of 8 practice questions for which you may not use a calculator to get the answer. These questions are designed to highlight for you the thinking and processing skills required, as well as basic knowledge, in order to pass the Lantite test. Read the information and then use the diagram to work out how many people liked documentaries but not comedy. Then write down your answer. The solution shows how to calculate the number of people who liked documentaries but not comedy. Correctly interpreting and understanding the information in the problem is necessary for this kind of question as well as being able to interpret the information in table form. Basic processes of addition and subtraction are also used in this solution. Read the information and then work out a formula for calculating the net cost per week to the business. Select your choice of answer from the four options. The solution explains how to calculate the net cost and so the correct answer is D. Interpreting and analysing the information presented in a word problem is necessary for this type of question. Being able to translate this information into mathematics and then applying a formula in an unfamiliar situation are important. Joe loves pizza and olives. Read the information and select the incorrect calculation for the number of olives Joe eats from the four choices. When talking about two-thirds of a pizza, it involves dividing the pizza into three equal parts and then calculating what two of those parts involves. The solution shows an incorrect calculation as option A. Once again, the ability to translate a word problem into mathematics is important for the solution, as well as basic operations involving fractions and order of operations. Look closely at this image of a 10 milliliter capacity syringe showing graduations of 0.2 milliliters and write the volume present in the syringe. The solution explains how the value of each division in the scale on the side of the syringe can be used to work out the answer. So, for this question and others like it, we need to be able to work out the smaller divisions on any sort of a scale that's presented to us, as well as having a knowledge of decimal divisions of whole numbers. Here we have five students and a diagram showing the relationship between their heights. Study the diagram and write your answer to the question. Here is the solution that explains who the tallest student is. Before you move forward, Consider the question, where would con fit in the order of height? Click the next button when you're ready. Being able to use the key to help you interpret the information in the diagram is important for a solution to this question. If you considered the extra question, Con would be the middle child in terms of height, since he is taller than both Eva and Declan, and is shorter than Belle and Anna. You can check this if you use the back button to take another look at the previous slide. Read the information and use the diagram of the scales that shows how a man and two children weigh the same as five children. Select your answer from the four choices. 
The solution shows the explanation of the man's weight. For solutions to this type of question, a concept called equivalent reasoning, as well as comparison and basic processes, are all necessary. The table shows the distances covered by a walking group in each of three weeks. Using the rule, calculate the distance covered for week four. The solution explains the calculation of the distance covered in week four. Before you go to the next slide, consider what would be the distance for week five. This question relies on your ability to interpret a word problem and match it with information presented in a table, along with the application of a rule, then applying that same rule to a new figure or set of figures. The distance covered for week 5 would be 20 kilometres. You can check this if you use the back button to take another look at the previous slide. Here's the last question. The image shows a collection of plastic beads. Read the information carefully before answering. It's not a trick question, but you need to think carefully in selecting your answer from the four options. The solution explains the calculation for the number of beads in the bag. When you're ready, click the Next button. Once again, your estimation skills are what you need in answering this question, along with rounding and basic processes. This is the end of the Calculator Not Allowed section. It's also the end of this Lantite workshop. Finally, a reminder that if you've got any queries about any of the questions in this set, or any other questions, you should make full use of the Academic Skills people on your campus. Also, remember that there is a large number of resources available for you on the FEA Lantite Support Leo page. You can access and run this video again at any time.